If you were to ask professionals, what are the top five cybersecurity policies that you need to have? Invariably, an incident response cybersecurity policy is always going to make that list. Without it, a business is at risk from being unable to know how to respond when a cybersecurity incident occurs, what to do about it, and perhaps most importantly, what lessons can we learn from it. Incident response generally covers six areas, and each of those areas needs to be defined in an incident response cybersecurity policy. The first area is that of preparation. We are going to be equipping our IT staff, management, end users with the necessary tools to protect against an incident, but also to be able to react when that incident occurs. The second area is that of identification. The policy should outline how we will be determining if an incident actually occurs for there are many false incidences which may not truly be attacks. The third area is that of containment. The policy should list why we are containing this incident and the different ways in which that might be done. The fourth is that of eradication. Finding the cause of the problem of the attack and then attempting to remove, perhaps, systems that have been affected by that attack. The fifth area is recovery. We must ensure that we can get things back to normal quickly. And the sixth area is that of lessons learned. Completing the documentation so that we can be better informed in the future about how to resist such an attack. An incident response cybersecurity policy is certainly one of the top five policies that an organization must have to be secure.